뭔가? 저, 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 I mean, the war will not get back to normal like after two solid I years. They were gonna have the vaccine within like a few months and get back to the normal life and stop wasting time on useless stuff. And I just extended my passport, which I want to travel. Just listen to me, okay? Just start your goddamn YouTube channel. But I don't have the good camera yet. How am I supposed to get the idea? Why well, I still be single? Okay, I don't have much time left, okay? Just start your goddamn YouTube channel. Anyway, I asked myself a question: What if you had access to hundred million dollars? What would you stop doing, and what would you still continue doing? There are so many things I would stop doing and continue doing. I don't know what I would stop doing, like maybe dropping out of college or something. But certainly. I want to keep making films and videos. I would even have more budget to do it. I've always wanted to make videos on YouTube and make a living out of them. I found myself happy filming, recording, and editing. Then why didn't I do it? I tried making videos since 2019, and I got good feedback from my friends and stranger on the internet. But why didn't I keep doing such potential work? One of the most challenging things for me is to have consistency and self-discipline. I hate myself for not finishing the work until I had no choice but to finish it. It's been a while since I discovered that kind of issue, but I couldn't overcome it. When I was starting YouTube, I was worried that people were going to judge me, my videos are shit compared to other people, and I don't have this and that. Even though I had the gear and all the things I needed, I still kept giving reasons. I still don't have the ideas of videos. The more I don't continue, the more the stress of not having anything done get bigger and bigger until it devours me. So I just realized if I kept giving reasons, it was going to be endless. So I have to come up with a solution to solve these blaming problems. I found myself not on track to the place where I wanted to go. I feel like I'm very easy going with myself, like I'm not pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I feel as if I didn't keep the promise that I kept to myself. If I want to reach this point, I need to have a system to keep me consistent on a project that I have been working on. I finally decided to hire myself. Now that is where my perspective shifts because I took another mindset over YouTube. Uploading videos will not be just a hobby anymore, it has turned into my career. So when I started taking this seriously, I had to do like 9 to 5 hour job. I have to write scripts, record myself, and edit videos even when I'm not inspired by anything. I might even have to work more than 9 to 5 jobs. I need to get my job done before the due date because my boss is paying me for my bills, food, apartment, expenses, and all the other things that I need. If I don't, I will get fired and I will have to worry about the bills and rent just to survive. For me, currently my dad is still supporting my university food rents and everything. That is already my salary. So my job is to become a director and content creator. If I had a chance to go back in time to the COVID first wave, I would give myself advice to keep consistency in my work. There's a quote from Tony Robbins that says, It's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives. It's what we do consistently.